You know what? One of the little things in life that I'm just really happy for is that if I were to die, like right now, and someone went through my phone, they would not find anything weird or gross in there. They'd just be confused by the names I have in there, like Nipple Tweaker and Hero, aka Your Hero, and Life is Marathon. They'd just be confused by contact names. Oh, and Lover of Kneecaps. When someone meets my family, they inevitably ask, how are you, you? Why is that, you ask? <laughs> have I got a story for you? But to be honest, it's true of everyone that everyone reacts to things differently. Everyone has different, has a different perspective. And that's just something you have to learn. Like not everyone in the world is going to have the same perspective as you. Not everyone in the world is going to think exactly like you. My, my mom, for example, like me, as you can see behind me, which way am I moving? I'm moving this way. Like all of these books, all of the manga, all the books, all the games, everything in there is arranged alphabetically. That's just something about me. I'm OCD and like I, I need I need alphab alphabetization. I, I need it. I need it. And in the old house, for the longest time before I had bookshelves or CD racks, I'm moving the wrong way again. Sorry, this is weird because backwards. Oh, like CD racks and stuff. Uh, I used to keep my DVD cases, like for all my games and my movies and stuff, piled basically floor to ceiling in my old den. Like you can see it in the end of an era video I have up on here, um, which turned out really a lot more melancholy than I expected it to be, but whatever. Uh, like I used to have all my stuff arranged floor to ceiling alphabetically. And to most people, I think, especially me, that was cleaned up. Cleaned up. Like you couldn't arrange it any other, I mean, you could arrange it another way, obviously, but it was a way. Like, that was the space it was intended to be in. But to my mother, that's a no. To her, no. If it was touching the floor, that means it's not cleaned up. Which... It... Unfortunately, there's no way I could get her to change her mind about that. That's just the way she is. If it was touching the floor, it was not clean. Like, in my room now, I've got a tub that Valley of Vigeria's dad gave me to put my Skylanders in. And it's got cardboard dividers inside of it that I made for the different elements and stuff, but it's on the floor, and therefore, to my mother, that's not cleaned up. Even though, you know, they're all in the tub, except for the Imaginators, which are on top at the moment. Like, that's, that's not cleaned up because it's touching the floor. And it's not even like she doesn't do that herself. It's just that if it's someone else's stuff that's touching the floor, it's not cleaned up. Like, in that same room, in my den upstairs, I don't know why I'm calling it the den now, that seems weird, but, but that's basically what it was. It was like another living room kind of dealing. And my den upstairs in the old house, in that same room, she had books on the floor lined up. Like all the children's books were lined up against the wall on the floor. So I don't understand why her stuff, it's okay. Like I could understand if that's just the way she views the world, but it's not fair when it's her stuff can do that, but mine cannot. That's, that's, that's not fair. I remember, I, I actually got my first personal TV because of my, uh, like, I used to sit down in front of the TV in the living room in my old house. There's a whole bunch of pictures of, like, me as a kid with a whole bunch of other friends, and we're all playing video games on that TV, and that was the only TV in the house for the longest time. And my mom was like, oh, I need this to be here so I can watch what he does even though she wasn't really watching, but whatever. After a while, it became infuriating to her that there was no TV to use because I was always using it. Which, I mean, valiant point. Valiant? No, she is not in battle right now. Valid point. I was always using it. So she got me a TV, and I remember my sisters being, in, being furious that I was getting a TV when they didn't have one. And I was like, but, but you don't use it. That's the thing. You don't watch TV, you don't use it for anything, so there's no point in you having a TV. So we got my TV and we had put it upstairs. But back in the day, I used to have like my PlayStation on the floor or my Genesis on the floor. And then like I'd have the box for the game next to me on the floor because that's where I was sitting. <laughs> I didn't like go back to the couch. We all sat in the floor on the floor in the old days. You sat on the floor and you all looked at the TV. And I remember my mom would come in and whenever she would see one of the cases for the games or a movie or whatever that was on the floor next to me, she would kick it out of the way. I'd be like, why? That's not cool. In this case, no, it was not cleaned up, but it wasn't in anybody's way. It was right next to me. 
and she would just kick them across the room. And it used to make me so angry because I I can't stand people who get rid of the boxes for games or movies and they just like keep the disc. Why? No, it's, it's no, they're part of the same thing. Like people re sell games back to GameStop without the cases. No, no, the case is a part of the game. You keep them together. I don't like it when people break that stuff. Like, no, that's, 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 it's all one entity to me, and it drives me crazy when people lose the cases for them. No, it goes with the disc. The disc it goes in the case. Don't do that. The other thing, uh, I had a huge building things phase. Like, when Bionicle came out, which also, if you guys didn't know, uh, Bionicle saved Lego as a company. Uh, they were going to go bankrupt, and then they made Bionicle, and then BAM! They just had this huge resurgence, and now they're they're surging in popularity again, which is awesome. I had this huge building phase where, like, I love to do arts and crafts. I was doing Bionicle, regular Lego sets, and all that stuff. And on my bureau in my room, I had, like, Zoids that I had built. I still have a box for a Zoid right there. There's a Dark Spider that I put the chassis on backwards when I was little, and I was like, oh, I can't get it off, and I just gave up. But I brought the box up when we moved here. I was like, I'm gonna do this. And it's still sitting in the box, which is just, ah, it drives me crazy. But I'm gonna do it at some point, I swear. So I had like Zoids, Lego, Bionicle, everything was set up all nice and neat. And they were in these big dioramas all over my bureau. And I didn't use my bureau for anything, so it really didn't matter. Like, now there's shit all over the bureau. But when I was little, I didn't use the bureau for anything. So, what better use for it than to use it for dioramas of things I built? And I would put the stuff on the table, and there was like cars going off ramps and stuff, like Lego cars, because I was really into Lego racers for a while. If you've never played Lego racers one or two, like on the PC, those are good kart racing games. They are very good games. But anyway, like I, I had like dioramas and like there's huge battles going on with a whole bunch of different zoids and what have you. And my mom would come into my room and be like, this isn't cleaned up. And she would like slap them off the table and they'd blow up. And I'd be like, but, but I spent, like, I would spend all my free time building these guys and having them set up perfectly. And she would just come in and ruin them. Or she would drop stuff on top of them and it would break, break either the, would separate the Legos or a lot of my Zoids have broken pieces because she's either slapped them off the desk or she's dropped shit on them and just, I'm, how is that not clean? They're in, they were like in battle. It was cool. I don't understand. Like when you build something, why don't you want to look at it? Why don't you want to see what you've done? Like, I don't understand. Like, uh, if you guys have seen my, uh, my last New York Comic Con video, when I showed, I took pictures of like Stefan's display cases and shit, uh, Jack Bauer. Like, that looks amazing! He's got all of those figures, he's built the Gunplas, they have a space. Like, my stuff had a space too, but I wasn't allowed to keep them there, and that drove me crazy as a kid. Like, I can't take pride in anything because I know it's gonna break. Fuck you, phone. Fuck you. And now that's transferred to... Yeah, I had to get up and I picked up the phone and no one was there, and I was like, good, because I was gonna tell him to eat a bag of dicks. But, now it's come down to... My eBay stuff is always in the way, even though it's not really in the way. There's plenty of other shit that's in the way. Uh, and they've taken to... Some of my packages have been open. They've broken things in my packages. Like, I have glassware items to sell. And they shattered one into a million pieces and didn't tell me. Thank goodness it didn't sell. But I went in the, in, I went in the garage to get another package and I moved this box. And I'm like, yo, that sounds really weird. And I reached into the box, and still in the wrapping, I cut my hand because this glassware item was shattered into a million pieces, and they decided not to tell me. I've also found empty boxes in there, and all my boxes, as I've said before, are ready to go, which means my family members are opening my boxes and taking stuff out to screw me. Just, why? Why? What purpose could that serve other than to fuck me? Like, I, I don't know. It makes no sense. Why? They either have too much time on their hands, or they're just shitty people in general. Stop it! Stop touching my shit! The title of this video is more related to the story I'm going to tell you now, and also is more related to the intro than it was to having differing perspective. When they're fucking wrong! 
which is what the story you just heard about was. But in this case, my crazy aunt, the one that's in and out of the asylums, not who or didn't make it, my crazy aunt. All of the people that I just mentioned are not actually my aunt. They're cousins to us, but whatever. We, everyone is aunt or uncle that's older. That's just the way our family is. So my crazy aunt, one of in and out of asylums, she had a brother that was just well, not just, but he's one of the people that died last year during that swath of everybody fucking dying in my family. Uh, well, in his case, he wasn't that old, and his was kind of tragic because he'd been a drug addict for part of his life, and he had some shit going down and what have you, but it, his was actually pretty sad, and it hit me kind of hard because he'd always been real cool to me. Like, growing up, he was one of the, my favorite people in the family to hang out with because he like actually cared and wanted to be friends or like wanted a relationship with me because most of the people in my family as i've said before that are older than me want nothing to do with me and part of it is my fault because when i was little i didn't want to talk to them either but now i'm old and i i i am a person now like i'm not just a child that you can ignore i'm a person so well, i i whatever those are all stories for other days. So this uncle of mine that wasn't really my uncle, he was really fun and that death kind of hit me harder than my grandma or my grandpa that died last year also. So I'm totally out of grandparents. I started with five. Well, technically I started with four, but there were three grandpas and one grandma. But now I'm totally out of grandparents because uh, my, my, my mom's dad and my dad's... No, my dad's mom and my dad's dad both got remarried so i had i i had three grandpas alive at some at, at from for most of my childhood i had three grandpas alive anyway last year we lost who we lost my crazy aunt's brother uh we lost a really old family friend uh, and then we lost my dad's mom and my dad's dad uh, so, like, all in the span of two months, and our family did nothing. That's why, like, there's a gap at the beginning of last year on my YouTube channel, especially, where, like, I didn't do anything. I had no time to do anything, because I was either, I was either in the corner crying for a while, um, or people were dying, or I was in the hospital visiting people, or I was at a funeral, or preparing for a funeral, or just out with my family in general, um, so there's like a huge gap there, and that like fucked up all my plans. I had all these great plans for last year, and I didn't get to do any of them. But now I'm on that shit. Everything's good for now. We're good. We're, we're okay. Uh, but when my crazy aunt's brother died, uh, shit went down. We all got really sad. Whatever. It was it was kind of tragic, because he... Like, he... he it's, I, I, do you ever grow out of being a recovering drug addict? Is that like a something that happens? I'm not 100% sure about that. So I, I guess technically he was still a recovering drug addict, but it was sad because he hadn't really done anything bad. And like I had always, he, he was already recovering, I, I guess that's what you call it. I don't know. He was already not addicted when I was growing up. So like he'd always been cool. And I was really sad to see him go. Uh, but their family, like my crazy aunt, and her brother, their family was also super weird. Like, their dad is so well regarded by his students. He was a teacher for years and he's a poet. He has like books published and what have you. He's so well regarded by everybody outside of his family that it's insane. Like, his own family, he didn't care that much about, but everybody else, he was like a wonderful mentor. He was amazing. Uh, and when he died, I got a whole bunch of his books because he was in Japan for a while. Books on Japanese and Japanese poetry and what have you from his, 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 his widow. And it was really cool. And like, I had never, no one had ever told me any of that while he was alive. I was like, what the, what's wrong with you people? Apparently, like when my crazy aunt was growing up, I can totally understand why she's crazy now. Like the one story that I hear all the time from my family is this one time they were on a road trip. My crazy aunt, her brother, her mom, and her dad. They were on a road trip. And they went to, their dad wanted to stop at a fancy restaurant, but he didn't have enough money to pay for the rest of the family. So what he did is he went into the restaurant and ate at this fancy restaurant, but he left everyone else in the family in the car. And so you can kind of get a feel for why, you know, she started to go crazy, like living in that kind of environment. 
especially where everyone else loves your father, but your father doesn't really care about you, I can totally understand where she started her, her downward decline into insanity. I don't know if I'd call it insanity, but just where the thing, the, the wheels and the cogs are turning, but they're like on a weird angle. Let's, let's go with that. When my crazy aunt's brother died, First of all, the weird thing was I was supposed to go visit him. And I have a thing where whenever I'm supposed to go visit someone who's dying in the hospital, they die that day. Like my mom's dad died that day when it was my turn to visit before I made it there. Like I, I came home to everybody at home and I was like, fuck, I didn't make it. And that hurt me a lot for many years that stuck with me. Like, oh, I don't take time out for other people who are dying that I'd like to say goodbye to. I did get to... See my my dog get put down though, so that was that was a thing. I'm glad I was there for that. And like my my crazy aunt's brother when he died, I that was my day to go visit him too, and I didn't make it there. And when I came home, my mom was here, and I was like, that's weird because she'd been spending the whole day at the hospital. My mom is like the caretaker for everyone in the family. If there's a problem it, in your li like, if you need help, my mom is usually there. That's that's her job. Like we have a thing. Me and my friends are like, oh man, she's a great hostess. She's just a bad parent. That's that's just the way it is. And so I was like, mom was home. I was like, oh, I, I didn't make it again. Fuck me. I went in and I was like, how's my uncle? And my mom goes, he's fine. And I'm like, oh, maybe I was wrong. She goes, he passed away this morning. And I'm like, you see, you see what you did there. That was like a, you took me on a path and the path was going this way. And then you were like, Bleh! and Bleh! that's not, no, see, no. I get that he was suffering, yes, but that was not a good way to go into it. Like, no, you don't start with he's fine and then oh he died this morning. No, that's that's not the that's not the no that's not the that's not the same. No, 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 Mister Super. No, no, it's it's not the same. It's, it's not. It's, it's not. Now it gets even weirder because when he died, like his uh, ex-wife is kind of an asshole. Uh, I've met bigger assholes in my life, but she's kind of an asshole. And uh, my mom, for some reason, she was like, okay, he died. Here's his memory card. And I was like, the fuck? I was, Here's his memory card. I took it out of his phone. I need you to give the information. And I'm like, this is weird, but all right. Especially because we're not like his nuclear family. I would expect someone in his nuclear family to do this, like his son. But whatever. My... Mom gives me the memory card and I put it in and she's like, if you can get his contact info, that would be great. But tell me what else is on it. And I'm like, all right, fine. That's cool. So I figure out how to export CSV files because it's, 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 it's a Verizon phone and a, a micro SD. I get his contact files, whatever. And then I'm like, okay. And then what else is on here is his pictures. And I like have the thumbnails open and it's like his house, his son. I'm like, oh, cool. And I just like quickly go down the list. I'm like his house, his son, that's a terrible rash. He had like a weird rash where his skin was like melting off on his shoulder. And then just his crotch with that rash. And I was like, ah! that was stuff I didn't need to see. Okay, I just want you to know that I wanted to wash my eyes out with bleach, like house, sun, weird rash, fire crotch. Why did you make me look at that? And I hand my mom the card back and a printout of his contact info. And I hand her the card and I'm like, do not look in the pictures. I may wash my eyes, but my brain will never be clean again. Hey there guys and gals, thanks so much for watching, as always. If you click the link on the left, you'll be taken to the previous episode. If you click the link on the right, you'll be taken to the playlist, where you can watch them all.